You can all feel it. You can see it. And you hear about it wherever you go now. We live in dead America. How do we reconcile the wrongs in America? I'm Ed Waters, and I'm your host of Dead America. Join me as we dive deep into the great divides, the misunderstandings, and confusion that plagues us here in Dead America. Let's have us a look. And welcome to the first episode of Dead America. I have an outstanding story for you today. With me today, I have Jesse. Hi, how's it going? Hi, welcome to the show, folks. It's Ed with Dead America, and I have a treat for you today. This is our opening podcast episode of Dead America, and I wanted to go right to the heart of issues in America, something I'm very passionate about, homelessness. I have a special guest with me today. His name is Jesse. And his age is 42 years of age. Jesse's been homeless seven to eight years. So let's say hi to Jesse. Jesse, how you doing today? I've been better, obviously. You know, I'm homeless. <laughs> <laughs> of course. And how does that feel to be homeless, Jesse? Uh, most of the time I cope with it or, you know, weather the storm, whatever go with the flow but um sometimes it's very 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 depressing like so depressing i want to just hurl myself off of this mountain that i'm looking at right now yeah oh yeah it hits me a lot like that sometimes but for the most part i try to overlook all that and just appreciate what i have and you know believe in god because i definitely believe in god a lot of people can't be that humble and a lot of people have not experienced homelessness homelessness and they don't understand the struggles day to day how people treat you differently oh. how they look at you no they have no no idea and they don't understand how tough it is every day to get your basic needs yeah yeah exactly i mean they, they don't even bother to even look at our point of view or even take the time to even you know give us the chance to look at our point of view right like all our struggles everything's a struggle going to the bathroom how are you going to go to the bathroom you know you don't have ba- uh, you know, toilet facilities, you, you got to go in a bottle or whatever. How are you going to get rid of that without somebody seeing that? Because, of course, everywhere as you go, everybody's disgusted by you just automatically. Right. Simply because we don't have a place to go. We don't have a house or a job. We're not part of society. You know, we don't fit into their so-called status quo. And it's, it's ridiculous. We're judged so much and looked down on so much. And everything's a struggle. Uh, staying cold, Staying cold when it's hot. Staying warm when it's cold. Yeah. Staying dry when it's raining. Yes. Uh, there's the snow, the wind, everything. You know, I live in my vehicle, but there's a lot of drafts coming through that. And when it's windy and it's cold, it's plenty cold in that vehicle. Being pretty in the vehicle, confined too, yeah, isn't it? Very, very confined because of course we have all our possessions in there as well. You know. Right. Or at least you know necessary possessions to travel with, because our other possessions are in storage all over the place. Which yeah. is a debt we have to deal with. That's another thing nobody that, yeah, thinks about. Exactly. It's just because we don't have a job or a family and, you know, car, blah, 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 pay insurance, all that stuff. Doesn't mean we don't still have debts being homeless. We still have to figure out how to eat. That's, That's a right. debt. We still got to figure out how to drink. That's usually a debt. We, in our case, we have a vehicle, so you got to figure out gas. That's a debt. So technically, we're supposed to have insurance on our vehicle. That's a debt. 
You gotta have it registered. You gotta get the plates, tabs. You gotta keep all that stuff up to date. That's debt. We we are dealing with bills as well, and we have no way to even pay them. Yeah, that's a mental stress factor, so, and that that alone it puts this burden of oh, stress on you, and it it, it, it affects it, your health. It's it immense. Your uh, well-being, stress. your ability to just be function. part of society. To just function, yeah. To function or even believe that uh, society... Well, like like me, I've been out of work for... Oh, boy. Like three and a half years, technically, but even that job was a bad job. Maybe we'll get to that later, but... A, a legitimate job, I've been out of work for, for... I don't know, almost like ten years. because Mostly because I've been homeless. I mean, who's going to give... Some, it, what kind of employer is going to give anybody a chance that walks in there that can't bathe so their hygiene's crap they can't get, clean their clothes so their clothes are all dirty as hell they can't get new clothes so their clothes are all tattered and i mean most people are frightened by that appearance that's right and you you are not alone in this venture oh, hell no. you have a partner oh, a yeah, female I love my life that you have to worry about daily yeah. for her safety yeah. protection yeah, and her, well-being the fe- yeah female hygiene prote- uh, safety like you said yeah so, and she's she's weaker. She's more, in her case, she's even uh, more vulnerable to the elements. She gets sicker more often than I do. Yes. Like she weighs less, you know, of course, of course. than I do because most females weigh less than the male counterpart. But yeah, like yeah, exactly. I, I'm everything's doubled for that matter. That's right. Bingo. To, to to eat for two. To to you know to, to uh, hydrate for two. That's right. Bastard for two. Uh, uh, hygiene for two. That's right. Society sleep is, for two for that that's matter. Right. Sleep Society has broken down horrible. the function of the family, where you can't even be the head of the family because they don't allow you to be. Yeah, anymore. no, 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 hell no, no. So that's that's the purpose of this show, Jess. Is oh yeah, dead I'm America. For, amen. I'm all for this. People really. I mean, everybody, not just the 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 minority of people that actually give a crap about us homeless people or or people that are for that matter well homeless homeless covers so much it, 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 there's veterans there's mentally ill people that's there's right. mentally handicapped that's people right. there's physically handicapped people there's people that lost it, their jobs there's people that lost their homes because of variety. weather because of forgive me but because god active active god you know yes. tornado took out your yes. house you're on the you're on the street you know yeah well, a lot of people want to go that route, you know. They they want to get mad at somebody or something, yeah. and and that's a valid feeling for sure. But you know, God, I'm a believer. I'm a minister, of course. Oh, I'm, I'm and and I believe God. that God. He, it's frustrating. I've, I've but, had you know, I've had it's all worth it. Well, F you matches with God. Yeah, yeah. So you know, I. my wife thought I was crazy oh, when I was I, forced into homelessness. I, so I've been where you are, and I know crazy? these just, frustrations. You know. And you know, you want to point the finger, but I think God allows all of this struggle for unity in the end. I think so too. Yeah, exactly. So we know, you know, know what it's like to not have nothing and for That's that right. matter, work together, come together, care about each other when Be we have nothing. Together. Even the people that do have something are you should That's care right. about the ones that Amen. have nothing. That you know, is the key. Even if you point. don't help us, don't judge us. That's right. Don't drive by and say get a job. I personally, I'm stuck stuck actually, you know, stuck not having a job because I lost my wallet. I lost my wallet. And when you lose your ID yeah, and your social no security kidding. card, and oh God, and yes. even in my case, my <laughs> birth certificate was even in there. This is like a major F up for me. Like, I have never done nothing like this. And, it, you know, it has to do with just listlessness and living the homeless, the, living a homeless life day after day and going through all this crap. Everything we go through kind of puts you in almost like a haze for a while. Like, you yeah. don't think like you That's normally, right. you know, would, would think if everything's all good, everything's taken care of you had that security you're you're kind of out of it yeah and i've noticed and i lost my wallet yeah people will just walk by and look away oh yeah we're invisible exactly we're invisible (laughs) they don't want to see the issues or problems oh no they don't want to understand the problems they want to blame drugs drugs criminals criminals crime yeah you know there's there's all these 
judgmental. Choice for that matter. Yes. Like, like, oh, gee, I have a house and everything. No, I, I think, screw it, I don't want to pay bills. I'm just going to go be homeless. There yes. is some people like that, but they're a minority, you That's know, right. you morons. Did I choose to be homeless? I did not choose whatsoever right. to be homeless. Right. You know, my whole life I've had a place to stay. Thank you know, to thank God for my dad who who raised me and everything. But you know, after that, even in my adulthood, I you know had crappy apartments, or whatever. I tried schooling, tech yes. college, you know, a couple different times. Try to get a trade to have some kind of st- uh, footing in life. Yes. Early, like which supposedly everybody's supposed to do. You know. Right. The status quo. And it didn't work out and blah, 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 long story, you know, blah, blah, blah. Um, I, I'm, I'm homeless and, uh, and I, can't get, I can't get back. I can't get back into society. I can't get a job because nobody gave me a chance. Plus, I have very little self-confidence in myself because right. of what you're saying about how dead America is. That's right. Because they're lowering my self-esteem to nothing because they tell me you're nothing. You'll That's never right. be nothing. Either go get a job, make it happen right now, overnight, right now, or you're a piece of crap. That's right. And you're nothing. You don't belong to society. You should be locked up or don't see thrown that. out of our country. That's right. And that's a valid it's an atrocity. concern. That's a valid feeling. <laughs> and people need to start waking up to the personalization that people feel. Yeah. There's a personal feeling inside of each of us. And some of us choose to get mad, yep, and vengeful, yeah, and yeah, yeah. hell know, yeah. That's that's where a lot of that don't society work too well usually, is going, but, though. Yeah, this this fear is leading to anger. You're seeing more violence towards one another yeah. instead of settling down and discussing yeah. the problems together. Oh man, yeah, we were um, we were in uh, uh, Southern uh, SoCal, freaking uh, Santa Barbara County, for that matter. It, it was a it's a dangerous place, man. It's it's a, like three hours away from L.A. and um, it, it's similar to L.A. It's similar to, to Compton, Inglewood, all really? the different areas because not necessarily is the city size of the area we were in, but the 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 violence. Yeah. The violence and the tension just over it. It's almost like you could smell it in the air. Yes. Like people are just walking around. Everybody's a ticking time bomb, even the so called civilized people. And that's creeping out to the suburbs. Oh, yeah. It, this, this is a suburb exactly. I'm talking about pretty much, you know? See? And, and we're seeing that creep out. Oh, yeah. The gangs that are influencing the cities. Oh, it's flowing all over the place. And the mentality is, yeah. for that matter. People that aren't even actual gang members have that mentality. I can be violent as hell. I can react however I want if I feel disrespected. Even if I was the aggressive one first or I was the right. one that disrespected that person. Right. That is the gang mentality. And it's That's really right. messed up, man. It's That's dangerous right. as hell. That's right. And, and you know... And it is flowing into just natural society, too. Yes, I think it's time for people to slow down, talk... Yeah, amen. And get a grip back on and we're, humanity. Bingo, that's what I was just going to say. Humanity. We're, that's I, right. I really was just going to say that. We're all people, man. That's right. We're all people. We're all supposed to be created equal in the eyes of God. That's right. And in His image, right. which, but, which means a lot more than just... Physical. It means where his spirit, his spirit. That's right. His soul, his it's heart. In where, every one What of us. comes from God is what we are supposed right. to be. The meek shall inherit. Yeah, the earth. Amen. And if we aren't, we're lost. And and this is the point. You can't take any of it with you. Yeah. So if you're hoarding yeah. tens of thousands of dollars For and you what? can't use it, property. There's women vehicles. and children starving in oh. the streets. You Start know, an organization. Give it to a foundation. In L.A. Man. alone, right down there on uh, Skid Row, yeah, it's it's kind of dumbfounding how they're doing this. They've got tents like your community here has oh, I've tents. Seen tent cities. I've been but in they're tent on cities, yeah. roll like uh, they can roll what? these suckers around the corner. And now once a week, the sanitation department comes down through. And they're pressure washing. Anything left is going in the dumps. Yeah. And it's as soon as they go by, all those tents roll right back onto the same street that they just cleaned. The, like you were saying, places to use the restroom. Yeah. Uh, to wash yourself, to cleanse yourself. They're not there for people. 
No, for that matter, peeing around a building, if that cop has to be, going to be driving by, you could either go to jail or get That's one right. big-ass fine. When you have no income to begin with, and all you were trying to do was just relieve yourself naturally. In a public a space. natural freaking bodily function. Yes, right. but it wasn't a public space. Well, well. Exactly. But if anybody could see you, oh my God, the system, the law is going to come down on something that pity. See, and the system should... Allocate should, funds yeah. for facilities all, all over the place. Those. They should have that outhouse. That's right. Anything everywhere. You right. know, any kind of anywhere where there's any kind of town, any kind of any kind of population. You know, I don't know, over 500. They should have some kind of public thing there. All That's the right. Time. You know, and the and maintained for that matter. The populace just keeps on looking the other way and allowing. Yeah, the, the whole thing like we'll just grow. disappear, you know. Yeah, exactly. I like, think that's like, the point. Like an endangered species, maybe yes. we'll just die out. Yes, it, uh, that might be the point. Or fade out, or go to another country, you and know. This or go to another point town, of the show, another state. Yes, dead yeah. America is growing. It, yeah, and it's not only affecting us. Here recently, we saw federal employees going to the food bank. <laughs> First time in my life that I've seen. Federal employees having to go to the food bank because not they're not that. receiving a paycheck. Oh, because of the stop thing. Yes. Oh. Sh- yes. Oh. Oh. Boo. Boo. Well, freaking who? Exactly. Really? I, I feel sediment there, but my what li- I'm, I'm saying I'm here just kicked back. Is- my life is made all of a sudden. Oh my God! I can't eat, so I'm gonna immediately go to a food bank and have the world feel sorry for me. And I want the world to feel sorry for the me. The divide no. is growing, though. See? See, am I? Am I they little, had to reach that. out, and they had to feel what it's like. But they don't have a clue still. That no, I I'm not comparing that in. Any way no, I know. or form, but I know. I'm just I'm telling saying, the rest of the world, man. The disease is growing. <laughs> Amen. If it can reach okay. the very people that are supposed to be protecting Tycoo- us, a tycoon could end up homeless. That's right. That's my point. The system it devours, it shreds. Oh man! And it has no compassion for and gets, anybody. And the more supposedly we're supposed to be evolving, like every decade or whatever, we're supposed to have improved a whole bunch of different things with right. our system, medical, no accountability, er, technology, everything. But no, it's getting worse. Everything's right. supposed to be acceptable, but at the same time, everything's not supposed to ever be talked about. And nobody's supposed to have That's an right. opinion about anything. So how the hell are you supposed to be PR without having an opinion about anything? That's right. See? You know, and I hate racism and sexism and all that, all that, all that terrible stuff. But now, like, you can't even say, "Oh, what's wrong with you people?" Right. That's the you, political you, correctness. You people is almost like, "Oh my God, it's Hitler making a speech yes. in front of his Third Reich." Yes, and it's getting worse. It's ridiculous. Too. The fingers. And it's ridiculous. Blame. We all are. <laughs> Full of hate is what I. The, the yeah. society is just turning into all about right. hate, and, and and we want to try. To, I I don't even know how to even put this in words, but but whatever is supposed to be the normal functioning way of society wants to like put it in a sense where we can't say anything about anybody or anything, but at the same time, you um. You can't say any any opinion about anything right. or anybody. And it's like they don't want it. Fixed. It's almost communism. America, it really is kind of scaring me. I'm, a, I'm proud. I'm very proud of our country. And you know, I know I know we kind of came from slavery and all that BS. But also in this Constitution, it says we, the people of the people. That's right. The that's people. The people. The people right. is everybody, and the people are the people that started this country, which isn't you know all these that's freaking right. senators and BS. It's people that we have to start remembering. Want to make a difference, man? Our our people in public offices, from our mailman to our president. Yeah. These people uh, yeah. should be there because they want to help yeah, America. Yeah, amen. For and the people. We, we are seeing career politicians, and they are, I know of individuals. Silver, silver spoon, man. Silver yes. spoon, golden spoon. They're, they got the, they're set from the get-go. Yeah, we, it's ridiculous. We need to fix that and bring it back 
to it, caring. Yes, because they really don't have a clue about what people are, man. Because they're not that, feeling the struggles. Yeah, yeah. Bingo. The people that had it made all all their lives, they don't know what the hell this struggle is. Bingo. Right. They don't know what it's like to try to you know make it t- t- through every day. Try to figure out how you're gonna eat every day. Just try to figure out how you're gonna and, have and gas some, in your car. And some of those work. people, you know? I really do feel they have the care, but they don't understand to the extent. Then yeah, yeah, yeah. They, of the pollution. Yeah, and they don't they, they don't dedicate themselves enough to it, you know. Right. Uh, they do the, the lip service. And the non profit organizations action, that are supposed to be helping today. Yeah, yeah. Oh man. It's it's ridiculous. Oh. Oh, because there's so many well, if you qualify administrative if you qualify, funds. If you qualify. <laughs> if, if, if you qualify. If you qualify. Yes. yes. Really? If I qualify I might die in a couple days because I don't have food or because the temperature outside <laughs> is right. too cold, but I don't qualify? Yes, I've been there. You know, and I've I've had to actually get mad. <laughs> oh, to the point I've where mad countless times. I was actually slobbering on the phone with these yeah. people that were supposed to be protecting and defending my rights. Yeah. Yeah, you know. So, yeah, we were talking about that the other day. And, you know, that was something I really wanted to bring up. Your Volk Rehab kind of talk. Remember that yes. the other day? Is that supposed to be the system, but at the same time, it's supposed to be a system for the people. Right. It's it's a disability. It, it, it's a... Um, uh, it, Oh, what is it even called? I, I don't even know what that 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 part of uh, the government's called, but it's it's uh, personal services. Personal yeah, services, the Department so. of Human Services. There, there you go. There you go. Boom. That that's the big thing. Human. Services. They're there to serve <laughs> us. Right. But not not like service like uh, we're their king or their you know their their leader or their their ruler, but like we're when they're worried more about their <sighs> five to ten carat diamond ring on their finger yeah or or geez i gotta then, go to my break hurry up you know right. my break's pretty soon you gotta wrap right. this up they're there i specific- have time for this yes bingo that's what you were saying they're there <laughs> specifically to help you that is their freaking job oh my gosh there's a lot of frustration atrocities man atrocities yes. is another thing you could have called this program atrocities in america <laughs> Dead the America, lost, it America. is growing, Jess. It, it makes it work. And, you know, this This People is, need uh, to hear this. People need to know what the heck is going on around here, really. This is a show that needs to be Amen. heard. Yes. There's going to be all sorts... I'm, I'm running the pilots for these all about homeless people. And then we're going to get into the politicians. Oh, yeah. Let's... The, other people, doctors, Let's lawyers, it. you know, and I'm going to invite these people on. Mental and, health. <laughs> yes. Let's hear both sides of the story yeah. and collaborate and get to a consensus of how to fix these yeah. immoralities that are going on in our world. It's plaguing America. It is. And it's a hindrance to Everybody. We need to have so much more action out there, people. People need right. to do a lot more than just talk at committee meetings That's right. and talk on these stupid forums. There's more waste. And no offense, but talk on these no. podcasts. Yes, they need I to agree. talk to the media. Talk That's to right. the news. Get out there. Talk to newspapers. Push and yeah, and keep That's doing right. it. Don't just get one freaking article out Stay there. Stay out know, of the violence for your life and start pushing freedom. Intellect. Truth and knowledge, intellect and action. That's right. Is what we need. Yes. That's right. Yes, anger and violence. Educate not the people do for how to change what is happening, the atrocities that are being perpetrated to the American civil people. rights. It's yeah, that's right. I don't know how many seconds we ought to have, but we were cut. To, I was t- we were talking about everything. I don't know how much your battery's got going, but civil rights. We were talking about. The other night, um, and this is one, and for that matter, just in my own head, this is something that just pisses me off so much about society is when you're homeless, your actual civil rights are like not there. Yes, uh, uh, we've been convinced of that. We've experienced it. We've seen other people experience it. If you're homeless, or if you're, if if the if If you look homeless, yeah, if the authorities find out, or if just a certain group in general society finds out you're homeless. 
You can be persecuted. You can be, have the cops harass you. You can be searched. They'll search your That's whole right. vehicle. They'll accuse you of having drugs on you. I smoke pot. I smoke hella pot. But drugs? No, I don't I have nothing to do right. with any kind of hardcore drugs that are like killing humanity. Well, that's plaguing F, America no. too. Drugs. Oh, amen. And and they are confusing and they're this evolving, marijuana of course, with these dangerous drugs. Still, 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 which is stupid. And and that's all from propaganda. You know. Yeah, it is. Hello, wake up, people. Look at legalization. Prohibition never works. You know, oh, I know exactly. It don't. So you. So if they go back to legal, legalizing it, it's gonna blow up. If you're 18 years of age and you can go die for your country, yeah. you should be able to do as Amen. you see fit, oh. as long as it's not harming to others. Yeah, exactly. So Drink, smoke cigarettes. We smoke need pot. to get a grip yeah. back. Back when I was young, you know, I uh. wasn't able. to to have a driver's license yet. Yeah. I think I was 14, 15 years yeah. old, and I was driving down an Idaho state highway with a pickup full of drunks throwing beer cans and wine bottles out the back. Oh, yeah. Times have definitely yes. changed. And yeah. An Idaho state. Most drunk police. guys just drove home. <laughs> yeah, a police officer... <laughs> Idaho State Police Officer pulled us over. I was in tears thinking, we're all going to jail. Oh, gosh, yeah. yeah. But this gentleman followed me for miles, and he said, I'm impressed. You know, I've been following Junior for quite a few years, huh. uh, miles, yeah. and he has done all right. Huh. Let's get these drunks off of my highway. <laughs> And he followed me to where we were going. Yeah. And that was the end of the story. Yeah, oh yeah, yeah. You know, if if there was danger, he would have handled it the right way. That man used his own intellect instead of garbage and making a buck off of the system. That's what I was just going to say. It's so much about, now it's so much about how many freaking tickets can I write up this person yes. so that I can get my promotion and for that matter, keep the budget The alive. government, the government gets more money to change, yes. change, 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 change and control and puts you and more in the system. And this is causing cause dead of pro America. Probation. Probation. You know what a nightmare probation is? Yes. Oh, pay for Civil this, pay for that, pay are... for this. And we're not even going to let you know when you're off. It's up to us when we get off. Right. I ran See, into something that was zero to five years, we were told in court. I couldn't effing believe it because I have a kind of a record, unfortunately, because I have a temper. <laughs> but well, anyways, that's my past. That, that's t 10 years plus my past. And that's why we need to fix it. But we ran, so into, we, we ran into this happening. stupid probation situation where, you know, you, you have to pay for this, pay for that. You have to be here. At the, you know, how are you supposed to be there and pay for this and pay for that and everything when you're homeless? And how are you supposed to pay for all these fines? That's right. It's like they don't even care. And we never even did anything, and I got a felony. I technically never did nothing. Interesting. Me and my fiance. Nothing. Jess, with that. A dirty hotel room that wasn't even ours. Yes. With that, I want to close this okay, episode. Okay, that works. But I'll have a way to stop. With that, <laughs> I want to bring you back. Back for another oh, episode. I'm down, I'm down for talking and discuss some story. of those interesting yeah, facts exactly. about interaction with law enforcement yeah. and how the so called system, man. Yes, the system treats individuals. Yeah. So, with that, exactly. Jess, I hope you enjoyed being no, that was, that was awesome. Was it a it was comfortable a, it was a blast. experience? Yeah, definitely. Uh, this is what we're talking about. We want to make people. Very cool. Feel yeah, comfortable worth to tell something. the story for that matter. And yes, your story A lot of us matters. don't feel like we have no voice. That's that's, that's the exactly the, that's the reason I'm here, yeah, Jess. Yeah, you gotta, Dead America needs to come alive on again. On the streets, man. Grab us, grab us, force us we, to, to do these interviews. We on all streets, matter. Man. Yeah, we all brother. matter. Yeah. Your story matters. Amen. And I'm glad that you brought it here on Dead America. Yeah. I was blessed enough to Thank meet you, you for that matter. Well, <laughs> it's interesting. I I do this all the time with yeah. homeless people. I'm blown away. But still, uh, this is the first time I'm bringing it to the airwaves hey. and bringing the stories of Fight reality. The power. Fight the power. Yes. So, we need to change the power. Yeah, power yeah. back to the people yeah, again. Yeah, that game Nobody happen, should yeah. be homeless, no. especially in America. No. So, with that being said, folks, 
our special guest, Jess, age 42 years, he has been homeless seven to eight years because of circumstance. Let's remember there's other people out there and all the stories matter. I'm Ed Waters and join us next time for Dead America.